Yes, yeah, Jamie Black uh, from Toledo, Ohio, Perrysburg, Ohio, and had earlier launched the Black Brant, which is a two-stage uh, project. We only launched it as a single stage. Just have an example of the electronics bay that's been set up for this. It actually has uh, two sets of altimeters in it, and then a stager that's uh, set in, and it all fits into a 54-inch motor tube in which I've machined out the uh, the fiberglass part so that I can use a single motor retainer to go ahead and hold it in. And uh, this has proven to be real well. It's been launched a, a number of times now and I don't get any ejection gases up into the electronics bay. And when you look at the, the, the two different altimeters that sit in, this is after the launch that we did this morning, the two separate altimeters. They run back, the, the bolded connections would be for the stager, which is mounted in the back and the battery compartment which would ride directly above supported with the uh, fiberglass and carbon fiber reinforcing. So the stager connections here and then the small terminal blocks are for the uh, for the e-matches to go ahead and light off the charges for uh, separation and for parachute deployment and what I've used there is just a uh, a pistol, a 45 caliber brass that's bolted in and then a small piece of PVC that slips over the top of that to give a large enough volume. I just replace the, the PVC, clean everything else up. And once this all goes together, the electric match just goes inside and uh, pack it and tape it. And this is a double O-ring seal at the top and a single o-ring that goes into the bottom and when it gets installed it's something just as simple as lining up a match mark that I have on the rocket it could be in keyed or indexed but this is all prototype and it just slides in it slides in and then run a an adapter plate off the top and then the the standard Aerotech uh, motor retainer that just gets threaded all the way down in and prior to getting it tight then I just use a small metal rod that I take through onto my electronics port and I push a rod that's been pre-staged in the uh, the the timing or the uh, the power actuators, the switches, and then we have something that can easily be pulled out at the launch pad for uh, prepping the rocket for firing.